Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, for the first time ever, I'm going to do a little day in my life vlog with two kids under two, which our kids are actually only 13 months apart, um, almost exactly. So Asher, my firstborn, was born February 26th last year, 2021. And then River, he's over there playing. Um, River was born March 30th, 2022. So almost Irish twins um, and I just thought I'd bring you guys along today is the first day that I am alone with them my husband is working from home this first like week or so after paternity leave so if I needed him like he's a, a downstairs um, and he'll probably be around like for lunch or whatever but um, I'm gonna try to do everything on my own I've honestly been really nervous about it um, the last couple weeks but she's two weeks old now and um, Asher had been like teething and stuff, but I think he's doing better today. So hopefully it'll be a smooth day. I'm sure it'll be chaotic, but we're gonna figure it out. And definitely make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. He came to find me talking to the camera. Do you like the camera? Hey. Say hi. Say hi. Can you wave? Mm -hmm. Say hi. I'm going to close this door so that he doesn't try to get into the dog food or anything. Gotta make it all kid proof since I'm by myself. Yeah. Um, we did make this purchase and just like completely transformed our living room into a kid safe area. So I've got the swing for my newborn and then this playpen, I put like a comforter down with a pillow. We've got a little reading nook, <laughs> um, some of his toys, and then there is this cool like little basketball net that it came with, and it came with all these little colorful balls. So he's been really loving it. We just leave the door open so that he's getting used to it and everything, um, but I can always close this gate. It just zips up and it's like this mesh material so that I can feed her or do whatever I need to do. Um, but this is her little station right now. She's in her lounge bed. We've already done like some tummy time and stuff with her. So we have some little baby toys up here. But yeah, I think hopefully it's going to be a good day. This is our new living room layout. <laughs> loves his puppy <laughs> he's become a little aggressive though like pinching her and holding her face and stuff but he loves to follow her around <laughs> he's so silly Baby girl is waking up, it's time to feed her. It's been about two hours. So for about the past hour, Asher has been napping and I was feeding River. The timing worked out perfectly, thank God. Um, my first morning has been smooth so far. Um, we were playing, like Asher and I were doing a ton. I actually ended up getting like all my to-do list done. I started laundry, I um, folded clean clothes. I 
vacuumed, like just got a lot done because River was sleeping in her little lounge bed, which is amazing. And Asher was being really good too. So I think hopefully his teething stuff is a lot better now because he's acting way happier than he was the last like two weeks basically. Um, but I even started tackling my junk drawer, which is awesome. But um, I am going to store this milk really quick and then I'm just gonna sit down and like edit or take advantage of this last little bit of time while Asher is asleep. Um, I highly, highly recommend getting a haka if you are breastfeeding because I just put this on the opposite boob, like whichever one I'm not nursing on and it collects a ton of milk. Um, and you can also, if it's like your first time nursing or you're having a hard time like keeping that on, you could also get the Hakka ladybugs and these actually can like sit in your nursing bra on the other side and collect some. They don't collect as much, which is why I use the Hakka because it actually like suctions and I already have a really good supply going. So definitely recommend adding those to your registry. Um, they're on Amazon or wherever. It's mm. lunch time for Asher and I snuck some blended peas into his cottage cheese. He didn't love it at first, but he's going for it now. Ash is making me lunch. Yes, my husband, Nasheed, is making me grilled cheese because even though he's working, he is working from home right now. Mm -mm. Of course, he wants the grilled cheese when it's mine, but he didn't want it. Yeah. It's not obvious, my friends, they all caught it saying I end up falling for you. I'm doing my best to hide these feelings, confessing is the last thing that I... Ash is being so loud. Uh, River just finished eating, seat girl. I had picked out a cute outfit for her, but I just haven't even put it on her because she's been taking her sweet time eating and then she's just like sleepy, so. Haven't even put an outfit on her. I've just got her wrapped up in this really cute little blanket from um, TJ Maxx, no, Marshalls. Um, one of my friends got it for me at our ba little baby sprinkle baby shower. But yeah, so far the day's been going pretty well. Asher was doing so well. I meant to, I wanted to turn the camera on sooner, but I was like feeding her um, in his little playpen. He was just playing, doing a great job. Well, the magnets didn't last long. Let's play with your magnets. Oh, you want the camera. I just thought I would jump on because she looks so sweet. I'm trying to like just take these moments in the newborn and appreciate them because it is a little hard when it's like, I know that some of the older ages are a lot more fun and easy, at least for me. Um, but that's especially because with Asher, we had such a hard time in the beginning with breastfeeding that the first two months were just really hard. Um, so anyways, all that to say, I'm trying to enjoy my newborn snuggles and get this time in, even when I've got a little 13 month old running around, but he's doing so well. Yeah. We moved the cow hide into Asher's nursery. Will be Asher and River's room, but it looks so nice in here. I knew it would look good when I bought it because it's black and white and his theme is like black and white. Right now we have not the gray nice glider here. This is our older one, which is also really nice and comfortable, but doesn't match the theme as much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to reconfigure this whole space when we move River's crib in here. I'm thinking about putting it here. It'll just be the same white one from Ikea. So we'll have it like long ways here and then um, put a glider over here and do something different with bookshelves. Like maybe those ones that go on the wall 
and then the kids can like grab them themselves. But I just don't know where to put that. But we're not gonna move the dresser because there's really not anywhere else to put the dresser. So I think that'll be the configuration, but stay tuned several months to figure out what we actually do. But the cowhide looks so nice. I'm very happy with it in here. Hey guys, it's quite a bit later. Um, Asher's actually going down for the night. It's like 6 p.m. So he's going down a little early. The reason why I haven't vlogged in a little while is because things got a little crazy for his second nap. So I tried putting him down a little bit early because he was kind of um, just like fussy and she woke up and needed to be fed. So in that moment, <laughs> being my first day trying to figure things out by myself, I was like, okay, I'll um, put her down for a second. Like I changed her diaper, put her back down. Actually, I put her in the swing for the first time. Um, I'll put her in the swing while I put him down for his nap really quick. Um, and it was only like, it, it wasn't super early, but he hadn't really been acting tired. So I definitely shouldn't have put him down. I was just thinking she might eat for like 30 minutes or more. And if he's already fussing, like he might just be upset that whole time. What am I going to do with him? So I tried putting him down for his nap and then he was just crying. Well, he seemed like he was asleep for like 10 minutes or something. He was quiet and happy and fine, maybe 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden he was really crying and dropped his pacifier. I went in and gave it to him, even though I was holding her and I had to put her down and she was upset. Then I had to start feeding her when I got back. So when he dropped his pacifier again, I couldn't give it to him. And so since my husband was downstairs today, I was like, okay, can you please come give him the pacifier? And he did, but then um, Asher was like purposefully putting it down and crying more and more and more. So we t finally took him out and then he was like hysterically crying, like way more than he usually ever cries. Um, even like a when he's in pain kind of cry, it was just really bad and he wasn't stopping even with us holding him. He had his pacifier and everything. Um, so finally got him to calm down using waffle and movie. I tried like opening the door with him outside and he kind of liked that, but it's too cold to go outside. He loves going outside. Um, so it's just really hard to tell if it was because he was like emotionally hurt or something, or if it was just because like he's teething, or if it's just because he's in this transition where soon he'll probably only be taking one nap. There's just so much going on at once with his development. I think he's developing, like he's teething first of all, and then physically like he's pulling up a lot and he needs to start like standing and walking soon. Um, he really already should be, so hopefully he'll be starting that soon. And then also just um, like emotionally, he's definitely starting to become more like toddlerish where he will like cry and almost throw like a little tantrum when he doesn't get what he wants. And then we have to like distract him with something else or try to not give in to what he wants. So anyways, all that to say, I didn't end up vlogging the second half of the day, um, but I'm just doing some skin to skin with River. She has been really great today. Um, she's been really great always and so is Asher, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Hopefully Asher will go down for the night easily and not cry or too much or anything. Um, but we're just going to be hanging out, watching TV and I'll be feeding her. Usually she kind of cluster feeds at night. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my rant about my hard afternoon. Um, it is going to be a challenge to take care of these two babies. Like they're essentially both babies. Asher doesn't even stand or walk. So he's crying right now. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.